Good evening, folks. It's good to see you and good to be seen by you. How are you doing this lovely evening? I'm your host, a modern mercenary. Life is taking a bit of a strange course. At least according to that music. <laughs> How are you all doing? Uh, life has been a little bit interesting. Let me just bring up a little bit more appropriate music. There's Children of the Omnissiah. There we are by William David. David. Actually, the soundtrack to this particular game that we're going to be playing. You'll be hearing it come on up. Good evening, Kate. Good to see you, bud. Come on in. Walked the doggo today. She even had a run and no sign of leg issues. This is good. Have you managed to avoid going down the vet or are you still booked in just in case? Which way is it going to go on that one? Hello, Falkira. It's good to see you. Good to be seen by you. I hope you are doing well. I've got my coffee. We'll plate it up. Life is good. That's the only downside to this tin. You have to kind of like stretch out and, and do duck face in order to get your brew. I am doing well. I'm doing well. A little bit knackered. Arm hurts. I, I, ever since I knew the weakness of my own flesh, I was disgusted with it. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, Clive, good God, man. Straight out the gate. Yes, I am common. I'm entirely proud of it. Still booked in? You'll call the council tomorrow if she's okay. Good. Good plan. Hello. Thank you very much, Quartermaster Clive. Hello, state-owned din... State-owned innov? Is that state-owned innovations? Good to see you. Good to be seen by you. I'm your host, a modern mercenary. I'm from the UK. Just in the, the mid-north. Well, actually, no, in the north. Not very north, but mostly north. And even without speaking up, we've got Wenlock coming in and going straight for the critical thing, the most important thing, which is the puppins. There we go. You can see Shadow up on the bed at the moment and Missling curled up on the fluff in front of it. Nice and comfortable like. The way to be. Don't mind the hamster. The hamster is chatty. And on occasions, is entirely sassy. So just be careful of that. Doesn't mean anything by it. It's just the way they are. Good. How do you want to provide carbonara? I've got your can of pop. This is good. If you are not, if you don't have hydration to hand, grab yourself a brew. It's going to take a little bit of a minute. Just, get, just let everyone get in, get settled. Folks who know me know I've got a 10 minute intro, so they tend to drift on in. And those who don't, well, you get a little bit of music on in the background first. There you go, my dulcet tones, and then we go into the game. But yeah, Sabre um, was the most recent thing I've posted up, other than my go live notifications. Um, and, the we and, the and the monthly plan, he says, thinking about the week ahead. Good evening, Eleanor. Good to see you. Come on in, pull up a sandbag. Have we all got snacks? Have we got beverages? Are we good? Are we settling in? A lovely Tuesday. Start of a reasonable week. As I was saying, um, first thing I put on Instagram this week is actually me getting clobbered um, at Sabre this, this evening, this evening, this Monday. Good gods, my brain is all over the place with soup. So yeah, Monday evening was doing some basic drills. Um, cuts one, one, two, three and four, because five and six are in the middle and seven and eight are top and bottom. The numbering system does not make sense to me at times. Like even it's evens on the left, odds on the right, except of course when you're cock handed, in which case it's evens on the right and odds on the left. Because it's all about the inside and the outside of the arm. Or well, the inside and outside of the sword hand. So yes. Once I've got it kind of vaguely figured, in fact by which I mean fairly well figured, now with the right hand I'll be messing up myself entirely and learning how to do so with my off hand. Which, you know, will, will enable me to fight any six-fingered band that I come across. That, or when the AI finally overtakes us, you know, and they start mass-producing gene clones, then we'll be sorted. But yeah, so it started off with cutting exercises, then parry and riposé, then, pa sorry, parry and riposte. Oh, I'll, get it. I'll, I'll, I'll pronounce it correctly eventually. The parry and riposte, then parry and riposte, sorry, attack, parry and riposte. Parry and riposte. And then 
attack, parry and frost, parry and frost, parry repost. And then I think we wound it down again because we were opening up the number of techniques. Um, as well as, instead of just going forward and backward, which is what we've been doing a little bit previously, but mostly standing still, um, we integrated walking around each other a little bit, which made it a little bit more technical. And I had to remember where my feet went, which is a new and enterprising experience. Because I've, I've been used to walking on my feet for the last 30 years or so, probably a little bit more. But no, with, with Sabre, there is effectively like a half step, and um, then a double step. Um, but also having never actually figured out how to transverse, or been taught to transverse, I'm doing like these half, half steps behind myself and full steps across. Um, bring my feet towards the middle line rather than um, cutting fully across because that just seems like a really bad fucking idea. Also, we're not doing martial arts, so therefore I can't take myself fully across and spin into a back kick, which might be considered unsporting, really. You know, I'm six foot four. Um, kicking someone in the chest whilst they're wielding a sword might be seemed a bad idea. At least if they're not expecting it. If they're expecting it, then, you know, it's a fair crack. Um, after a couple more, well, after about three quarters of an hour or an hour worth of, of that kind of gentle training on that one, he says gentle. Um, we moved up to a sequence of free play games, um, which is great and hilarious. Um, started off with um, King of the Hill, effectively speaking. Uh, one on one, winner stays on. Um, and yours truly was in the starting gate, um, which was hilarious. Um, everyone was very nice to me the first time around, and then it got a little bit more serious the second time around. And I think I managed to get through three quarters of the team. <laughs> um, Merc, you're a six foot wall with multiple kinds of combat training isn't gentle everything short of all out warfare. I mean, to be fair, I have never been formally trained in knife fighting or formally trained in any kind of baton work or, you know, any kind of melee weapon skill beyond the bayonet. And other than stab it in their chest, stab it in their guts and stab it in the face, there's very little beyond, beyond that that I know technically when it comes to weapons drill. Hand to hand, whole mix of um, regimental boxing, um, kung fu training, um, uh, brain went soup. Kung fu and kickboxing, uh, a little bit of kickboxing so I could learn how to do kung fu better against them. Um, regimental boxing, a little bit of crav, mainly just to realise how fucking nuts crav is. Um, do you know do truncheon and shield formally? We... Technically, no. Technically, I, I have never done any form of public order training in quite that manner. What I have done is I was part of a group of people who assisted the Royal Ulster Cavalry... Cav Cav Cavalry? Royal Ulster Constabulary in, in how to do their baton work. So being the rowdy side of public order. I know how to use them because I've been on the other side of them. And also we get to watch them a bit. Yeah, I was the person to get hit along with about 20 to 30 of my best mates. Oh, or very good friends at the time. And we've got to throw half bricks, rubber bullets, um, and on very specific occasions, Molotov cocktails, out the eye, you say. Which was a little bit of a laugh, to be fair. We had a good day. They sort of didn't. Um, but it was a training exercise for them. And it was a chance to, uh, chance for them to get educated and for us to appreciate a little bit of what goes on as well. But yeah. Otherwise, it was pretty good. So, yeah. Um, started off as King of the Hill. So, when I say they went gently on me, um, one or two gave me openings um, that they may or may not expect me to exploit. Good evening, Big Grumpy Gamer. Good to see you. Good to be seen by you. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Pull up a sandbag. Um, just have a bit of a chat about Monday night um, and Sabre before going into the game. Um, so yeah, King of the Hill. A couple of them gave me openings to work with. Um, I think I kind of surprised some of them, which is good. 
Um, on the second go around, it was pretty much everyone at full speed and doing a good job. Um, as I got through about three quarters of them. Then it was... British Bulldog? No, it wasn't as well British Bulldog. It was Winner Stays On, and it was Grand Malay. So, five versus five, effectively, all the all. Um, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> basically, two rules. Don't hit anyone in the back, and especially don't hit anyone in the back of the head. Um, the don't hit someone in the back was kind of mitigated by the... So long as they know it's coming, and they've kind of accounted for it, um, as we've seen on one occasion. Um, so yeah, when, it, when you're past uh, someone's 180 line, give them a shout. Just before you stab them. Well, cut them. Um, and that went pretty well. That was a good laugh. That was educational. Um, and then it was Bulldog. Um, which was three on two. If you get tagged, then you swap sides. And eventually, you know, you'll be down to the last person. And that end of the room wins. Um, and that that rounded out the whole evening. I think that was about half an hour's worth of that alone. Maybe 20 minutes. That was a damn good night. But yeah, I did pick up a couple of knocks. Um, my forearm is well bruised. Um, uh, reminds me of the put no pod shots rule from La Partry. The actual rule is sh don't shout sorry until after it hits them. Yeah. Don't shout sorry until after it's connected, and also look vaguely apologetic. And try not to do it again. You know, if it happens, it happens. At the end of the day, people do step into them. I've done it before. Um, it's uncomfortable, but you learn. But yes, um, it was a cracking night. Thoroughly knackered. Took advantage of the fact that the landlord has replaced the shower, which is awesome. So no longer am I taking like a Japanese style shower in the bath. Um, I'm now um, actually able to use a stand up shower, which is fucking amazing. Oh, stay toned innovations. Well done. You've earned yourself a ban. Done with you. That was a shame. It was me hoping you were a real person. But hey. But you have pushed our numbers up to 188. Thank you very much for that. Didn't take his hits. Claimed he was in the trench coat instead of his body, so there kind of necessity. Well, you know, if they're going to... As long as the refs kind of give you a nod. I suppose that starts to become vaguely acceptable, but... Yeah, if they don't take their hits, they're a pain in the ass. Um, but yes, looking at the follower count, we've got 188 of 255 followers. That's awesome. Um, this is my first of two shills for this tonight, so don't worry. Um, you know it connected if his feet are on the floor. Well, yes. This is true. So yes, 188 of 255 followers. I'm pushing for 255 because 250 is about the level where companies and things start to say, yes, well, we'll consider you for promotions. Yeah, we'll consider you for, for games partnerships or, or otherwise or sponsorships. Um, and I think it's also a really good mark for having streamed for two years. Um, so I'm pushing for it for November 21st at uh, 001 on the 22nd of November. If I've not hit 255, I'll put a last stream on the day and then I'll wrap up my streaming. Uh, or at least my, my regularly three weekly streaming. Um, or two to three weekly streaming. And just do occasional bits and pieces um, with buddies. People like uh, Big Grumpy Gamer, um, Harold, Wrathful Monk, and a couple of other folks. But yeah. Also along the way, Kate, our resident artist, he's an awesome dude. He has offered to do us bits and pieces of work, and recently he's been working on the first piece of artwork, which is Shadow, who you can just see the butt of in the in the film in the uh, camera there. Um, him as a veteran sharpshooter from Dark Tide, and we'll be seeing how that goes. So give him a follow, give him a shout, give him a, give, give him a like, and see when he's streaming. Let's get a, a quick one up for you there. Control C. Exclusive mark shout out. It also sets something up for this. There we go. Last scene playing Sims 2. Also, yeah, he plays Sims 2. If you like The Sims, it's a chance to relax. 
listen to the babbling of Simoleon and enjoy that. Um, there's also the small kid who's teaching the other small children about how to uh, around them how to pod shot. Yeah, but that's because cool, small kids technically are like invulnerable, and they just repeatedly punch people in the dick until they fall over. It's like not like the monster's not got enough hits. It's just like the monster forgot to bring their cup that day, and they're entirely done with the universe, um, being repeatedly punched in the nads, which you know all flaps depending on which which perspective you've got, um, and that's it, done. Checking out, thank you very much. Um, but then again, when they become 16 and they can become get shot in their nads, you know, people don't return the favour, but it sometimes happens. Yep, we'll clear that one. Permitted term, crotch height. So. Ooh. Somehow we strayed into other things. Also, mod being a bit green today. Uh, yep, yeah, absolutely it is. So with that, really, I think what I need to do is I need to grab up Twitch so I can pull up the channel. Create a dashboard so I know what's happening vaguely, what's going on. I mean, how many of you are here? I'm not doing roll call today. Don't worry. There are the great engines. Coming in a little bit loud. Let's reduce that slightly. There we go. That should be okay. So. It goes back over there. That goes over there. Volume control goes there. Sorted. Okay, let's uh, stroll over to the Mechanica screen. Uh, Mist and Shadow both have um, hooves. As in, there the were sometime yesterday afternoon um, to, to early afternoon, um, there were a couple of uh, horses' hooves put down for them to chew on. And in fact, no, they're not horses' hooves. From the shape of them, they are, they're actually bovine hooves um, to chew on. And apparently, one has been completely demolished apart from small bits. Um, and the other one is what Misty's having to go at, at the moment. So that's going to be her one. That I probably destroyed his earlier today. Oh, where baby? Where baby? Twitch, day one. Bang a gong. Hoof chips are great. Let's see where are we at. Um, new deployments are available. Ooh. Subdomina Kepra has requested aid in taking pressure off her for her troops. Collapsing key areas of the Tomb of Acropis will hinder enemy movement and stop them from overwhelming the Skitari. Okay. Enemies include a Deathmark, which is a sniper type, Blade Ones, which are the close combat type, and Necron Warriors, which are the general stuff that gets shot in the face a lot. Um, we get Rangers. Okay. Um, which I think are more the, the range specialists. 90 blackstone, because we need more blackstone up here. And we gain an additional tech priest. This would be useful. And we get another Curatio Macrodendroit for our, for our Lex mechanic. Cognitive canister. And a little bit more blackstone. Whole range and potentially a canoptic anthracite, which is not good. And grave goods, okay. Explore the remnants of an excavation made by the original Imperial settlers on Silver Tenebris. Recover any archaeotech they left behind for the Tech Inquisitor. We get a better gun. We get a scanner, which really could be useful. And more black and that slightly higher level of blackstone. I had a hard time dragging away from the farrier. Uh hell yes. They do love them. They do love them. Mine too tend to enjoy the, the plain ones better. And they don't tend to go for stuff too. Let us deploy... Both of our Magoses. Um, 
we have to pay for these guys, so I'm actually going to deploy four servitors on this one. We've got recovery of five health points, useful. Next attack deals three damage. Next attack deals six damage. Um, there are other options here, though. Or just this one. Next two attacks will ignore all armor. I think that is perfect. Next melee strike is really dangerous. We get a little bit more health, or we ignore all armor. That's good of him. They're eleven percent lower than everybody else's because you can sometimes turn them off. That's probably useful. Four hoses, four, four hoses, and four hosses. Yeah, four, four, four by fours is, is more chips than they're good. Absolutely. I only get hooves um, every couple of weeks. Mostly part of the teeth cleaning method. Drop the roof on him. Absolutely. Narrow down their attack options, and you can reinforce those positions. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, whatever they've got, they're going to lose a lot of them. Hell yes, they're going to lose a lot of constructs. Oops. Deployment number five. Okay. Key locations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That last one. So, I'm thinking the most expedient route is one, two, three. Pick up the sigil room for and out. Good gods! 20,000? 20, 20,000 credits? 20,000 mercenary credits to the Widows and Orphans Fund? I mean, we were getting them games and uh, other toys. Or adult toys on the last run through. Because I think I think we have to start building them a library at this point. A library of things as opposed to a, a library of books. Because you know, books are useful. Um, but so are things as well. Thank you very much for the redemption there. I do appreciate that. You're doing a hell of a lot of work. I need to start doing something on that. Like eating, eating really sour sweets or singing a song. Possibly. I don't know. I will happily take an open vote on what kind of things people would enjoy seeing for large donations to the Widows and Orphans Fund. How about not singing a song? Ooh! I don't do that much singing, do I? Be cruel. I do. I know. But yes, if, if people would like to make suggestions, feel free to, to drop them in chat. I do appreciate options. Okay. The enemy are more notified. It's a problem, but we can survive that. Move to the next position. 
Our presence has been detected. Yep, we know. Carefully examine the area. We're going to lose a couple of people here. Yep. Cohort of corpse in the collapse and escape with injuries. But also some knowledge of the tomb's design. So one of the one of the servitors took a hit. That's okay. We got two CP out of it. Let's go to the next location. Cork the vents. I'm all for it. Put corks in them. One of the troops who elect to perform this deed suffer dozens of tiny bites as the scours, scarabs try to devour him. Thankfully, their attentions are taken off the explosive long enough to make them set. That's fine. A different servitor takes another couple of hits. That's okay. They're only servitors. Pop the server like a helium balloon. What this one up here? This one floating around like, like an awkward bugger. Yep. That's legit. What is the glyph? I don't think we know what either one of these does. What do we reckon, chat? Left or right? Any other votes? We're gonna go right. Eee, shiny. More blackstone. Thank you. Number four. Extra necrons in the battle. Well, that's entirely problematic. Uh, the scarter units. Holding the tomb of Acropis. Are suffering communications glitches. And one unit has run a cable to the command post just to stay in touch. The cable runs across the chamber ahead. It is obvious it has become severed. Potentially cutting off the link for the unit from the rest of the Skitari forces. Ignore the cable. Yeah, not really. Fix the cable as best we can. Just quickly. That, that's quite useful. Go the extra mile. Um, we're going to end up sustaining damage here. Let's do that. Let, let's let's help our Skitari buddies. Oh, fuck my life. Necron initiative increased. Thank you very much for the notification there, Quartermaster Clive. Thank you for the three month for, for subscribing for three months now. Good to see you, Drusifer. How you doing, buddy? We're back with Mechanicus again. I do appreciate that. That's awesome, buddy. Dedication for you. Absolutely it is. How are you doing? Have you had a good evening? Have you had a good day? Have you had a good couple of days? It's been a while. Uh, the Mechanicus... Uh, I'm looking for the Skitara unit. They find the, the unit dead. Uh, victims of an ambush. Their bodies sheared open with gorse fire. Ugh. Knowing their efforts were in vain pushes the cohort dangerously close to despair. Yep. The enemy are in a better position and they're going to be acting faster. That's... Helpful. Bollocks. <laughs> Making life difficult for ourselves today. And I'm back in the, uh, I'm dressed like a sofa kind of disguise. So what are we doing here? We gotta go now. Pull the mouse back. We're gonna just sit back in the chair and relax a little bit. Survive four rounds. Huh. Mm. Mm. This is gonna get fast, really, really close, really fast. I get the feeling. I'm not allowed to, to see what's going on in some of these cases. Uh, one warrior, the thing already in position. Okay. Jeremiah with your with your healing tendrils. Oh god, so we've already got scarabs on the field. Urgh. You go 
there, and you with the guns. Stand back here a bit. We'll get some of the battered servitors up in position. We know they're battered. It's okay. They're going to die first. A vaguely tactical choice. And now it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, Beaker's going down next turn. And so is he. That's all right. Can you punch him? Yep, get him. Your job to, to end them. That's fine. Hmm. Let's, let's see if he survives. I think acid does just take them down at the end of this. Am I also well upholstered? I mean, people do say I've got cuddly bits. And so do I. Ooh, this is an attack of opportunity. Can I? I'm going to delay your turn. And you can go thumping. Stay where you're at. Don't pull over. Okay, you, Mr. Gunner. No, you're you're the perfect person. Right, you get over there. You do the scanner. Quickly. Get, get a shuffle on. Scan the thing. Okay. Uh, that's going to cost us one CP to get over there, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit it for quick mission point and potentially move back there as a defensive position. But for now, can I shoot anyone? Can't shoot them. I have to end his turn. He's in melee. It's him. Ended him. Let's get some details on that guy. Okay. That's a definite doorway. I can't see any other distinct doorways, but that doesn't mean they're not going to turn up. I think I'm going to try and create a defensive corner over here. Because these look like they might be for landing points or something. Shoot him. No, you can't. Hold our turn. Ah, there we go. Yep, let's get these two servitors in position. Move them up directly to engage. Can't do anything else, that's fine. We're gonna take a hit. We're gonna gain some CP. Take another hit. No more CP. Okay. Well now we've got two. Um you can you can hold position there. Requires three cognition points. Hmm. Acro stubber. Perfect. Good opening salvo. And then we will wait. End your turn. Ow. Through pain, I find wisdom. Stand there and farm the cognition. Just 
sluggy and a help for helping range. That's interesting. Two to four HP. Might as well wait a turn. Acro's cover. Anyone? He's out of range. He's out of range. Nobody else is in range. Fine. Might as well end the turn. Okie day. Life is going to get interesting and technical. be able to move forward enough to get shot in the face. I'm surprised he didn't get a, an attack of opportunity there. He moved into his area. Move up. Give him a hecking thump. Oh, he's gone down. Okay, move him up because causing people problems. We're going to need to know the details of some of these other ones. We'll deal one point of damage and find out stuff about that one. That's okay. End of this one. And the Volkite Blaster, single target ranged attack, healthy amount of damage in the electrical field. All of the enemies have electrical type damage? Ooh, you don't have any type of shield. So we can just blast at you and hopefully do you in completely. Yay! Evaporated the twat. <laughs> Unable to reactivate. Yay. Perfect. Macro stubber. Engage the enemy. Volkites being some kind of slightly better uh, microwave ablative weapon than, than other things. They were going to be the main weapon of the uh, Deptus Astartes only. Uh, bolt guns turned out to be a lot easier, uh, mass producible, due to the, the failing technology base. Right. We're not going to be able to get anything dramatic, so we'll grab stats from you. Six with no shielding. Good to know. Okay, and you're out of range of anyone. Here you are. Ooh, hang on, what? End the turn. Encountering pain tends to lead to wisdom. Give or take change. Absolutely. <laughs> I see you've had a personal interaction with the hamster. You are entirely correct. He keeps on whittering on about the need for me to things thing, fill things in in triplicate. And gives me two pieces of paper. Like, what do you want me to do? Right on the back? Ah, that works. We are going to defer... No, we're not going to defer that one's turn. We are going to deliver a volley of fire into that one, because that will end that, hopefully, at the very least. Straight off the bat. Come on. Didn't do it for a critical hit. That's a shame. You might as well stand where you are. Good God, that thing's scuttling. Uh, it's about this time I need to start causing damage. Let's get moving up. How far is it? Not enough condition points for using it. Really? It's only a point for macro? Good God. Okay. I didn't farm any points there. Okay, we've got to start moving this thing up. We're just as dangerous in melee combat as we are in any form of other combat. We do need cognition points to be doing them. I had not realised. Uh oh, that's a problem.
Ah, wank. One turn and he gets back up. That's a problem. Put a round into him. Put him down for good. This is where I think we need to start doing some cross training between these two. And can get up to there with my movement. That's okay. We know that he's got um, a normal. He's got a normal shield. Can't use a macro stepper again. We know about him. We don't know about that flayed one, and we don't know about that other Necron warrior. That flayed one's going to be the problem first. So let's deal him some points of damage. And now we know that he has no form of armor. No form of shielding. End your turn. Ow. Yeah, that one needs a catechism or healing or something. Quick. We're playing now, find wisdom! Okay, run forward. Do him some help. Quick. Three points of digital love. Um, five points on the active unit. We know he's going to get a point back anyway. Let's nab a cognition point from somewhere. Oh. Here's the thing. We're going to get one point anyway from the other guy. Let's do that. Okay, four points of damage needed there. Now to wipe out all our enemies. I think we're in the best position we can be. I don't think there's any advantage to being anywhere else. Point of condition. Useful. Hit him in the face. Three to five points of damage. Oh, put him down. Love it. And a cognition point. We need... That's the thing. We need cognition to be able to do things. Can I get around to, to somewhere where I can pick up a scan? Nowhere easily adjacent. Not that I can pick up a scan from and not take a hit on the way in. Two there, we got... Ooh, that's a lot of... something there. Um, yeah, there's a ding of opportunity on each of these. There isn't that way. Let's fall back in good order. Over to there, you little scully bastard. And end your turn. I wonder if Araman ever pulled off a card trick for Magnus. Well, by the time Ma uh, Magnus met Araman, he was already, like, a decent chunk into his powers. Um, I imagine Sleight of Hand would have impressed him, because Sleight of Hand is a skill beyond the warp, and it can be kind of funky. Make sure he stays down. Why can't I macro stubber that guy? I would like to macro stubber. This one. And put him down. Like the dog he is. Yeah, shuffle on over here. I don't know if I want to activate this canticle just yet. Five points. I think I'll do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it now. Maximize the life of the closest one to the enemy. Funny looking dog. That's what the first person said when they encountered it as it was scuttled across the floor on all fours wearing human flesh. It's like, that's a weird dog. Ah! Extra enemies. I don't need extra enemies. I need these ones to keel over and die in a bush. I'll even import the bush. Hey, 
extra help. Thank you. You've got no armor? Yeah, you've got no armor. You can get a point of damage. And you can get a macro stubber, which will hopefully put you down. Yes, good. It's earned me a cognition point, I think. Nope, no, it hasn't. Let's go over here and make sure we keep on specking one every other turn. End your turn. You're going to move forward and shoot him in the face. This is not doing good. That was a critical. Um, can you shoot that one in the face? A lot. Or the spine. Or the anything available. Make sure it goes away. Thank you. Um, I'd like to see a Space Wolf take on one of Gordon Ramsay's Guess the Ingredients Challenge. But if he's if it's got a brain, he'll be able to tell, like, through the life experiences. Because GW are insane. Use your claws on yourself. Make yourself feel better. There we go. Three points of healing. Do Necrons have kidneys? Probably someone else's. The flayed ones definitely do. See, this is where the cross-training is needed. If there's, like, one CP missing for both of them. Um, or otherwise. Are you in range of the macro stub or not yet? Okay. Delay the turn. Because he self-heals. This guy does not. Not quite in range. Uh, I could spend a CP and get into range, but then I wouldn't have a CP to do anything with. So I might as well wait. I don't think he moved into it. No, he didn't move into range. That's alright. End the turn. And end the turn. I am whole again! Make me whole again! Click the CP! Fascinating! Have a face full of gorse blast. Through pain, I find wisdom. You are now in range. Ooh, no, actually, you know. We'll grab some CP and we'll figure out if you've got a shield or not. There we go. One damage. Love it. Um, the next two attacks will ignore all armor. Sure. First up, have that. Ignores the armor anyway, but maybe it helps. I don't know. Two damage. Oof. Will you try and close is the question, or will you try and create a distance? Only one way to find out. Get into it. End the turn. Machine spirit is charged. We can do extra damage. Put him on the floor. Spleen specifically is a secreting organ, so I get the feeling they probably don't have spleen, sadly, as much as it would be amusing. Because um, they are they are flesh metal. Flesh metal. Uh, maybe maybe not. Ooh, go and have another cognition point from somewhere. And, and self heal. And self. Uh, no. Again, because they're full metal. Um, they are fully mechanical skeletons. In the next turn, he will get up again. Condition point. End him. The lack of squishy bits to shoot them in is problematic and I don't like it. I'm with you. I am absolutely with you on that. This will put them in melee. Yes, it will. 
Range weapons are delayed in, in melee. Yes, they are. That's all right. One turn. If he moves away, I can hit him with a stick. Wham! Three points of damage. But he does get to shoot me. Which hurts. But hopefully we'll get another point of CP. No? Follows. A rude. I know, I'm really on that. He's moving into the most awkward spot as well. I can't shoot him then. Or I could like spend a point and run over there. No. End of the Only option I've got. New round. Pollution point comes on. Servo skull. Go and and in fact no. Servo skull. Bleed him with acid. Aha! No threat remaining. Imagine how bad the steel suit from June would smell when the Fremen took him off. Ooh. That's the thing, they don't bathe. They don't recall. It's been a while since I've read them. Um, any scenes where the Fremen bathe? Because water being as sacred as it is. Um, they don't use hydro showers. Oh, sorry, oh, like vibra shower kind of things. Because um, that's the wrong tech universe. Unless they do like a sand rub. Take them off, do a, a sand sand scrub to get all the, the dirt and, and detritus off the flesh. Oil is an adequate cleanser. True. But the mission is complete. Very true. No one is disposable so long as they do the honor size work. Oof, that's a lot of injuries. I think we just came out of that with a net draw, or, or barely a gain. 71. Oh no, we did alright. We did alright. Litany of Life. I think we might be taking that one. Whew. Next damage will deal 3 energy damage. Interesting. Okay. Let's gain three condition points just for shenanigans. What? Activate the machine spirit 20 times. Max the machine spirit of all weapons. Okay. We did a lot on this mission, apparently. Go a little bit further, a little bit faster. Any any more random ones? No, okay. Um, I don't think they do a sand scrub because that would irritate the flesh, and draw moisture away from the body. Could be wrong though. That's the thing. How how many options do they have? Because we don't see them eating much other than like small critters. It's a desert culture, so there's not really big animals to go and to go and cull. So where do they get their food from 90% of the time? It's got to be like small mammals and, and rodentia and similar. Which means they don't have a huge... Well, they do have the stills, don't they? They do have the seeks. Is it the seeks? Seeks? Um, which, are, which are their their deep water holdings. They're few and far between. And I can't imagine they would use such precious sources for, for bathing. How did? But you know what? You know what? The internet. How did the Fremen bathe? And Reddit goes, no, we're too busy.
Ah, the unwashed smell of the early 70s. Yeah, that's true. I was having a quick read through this article. It's like, uh, psychologist and environmentalist and, and Reddit servers are, are busy. So they're not working. Though. The internet is telling me it can't be bothered. Okay, fine. Keep your secrets, wizard. Right. Ooh, we've got two more uh, options here. Let's have a look at these ones. Damage sustained during warp transit forced the Castus Metallican to vent much of its fuel reserves. That's problematic. Uh, Quartermaster Rose suggests acquiring a supply of isotopic materials from the tomb to be used as fuel. We would get a flamer, an indecine combustor. <laughs> I am all for getting a flamer. Target area damage. Oh, yes, please. Um, maybe they have really good frustration. Well, they do basically just live in them permanently. Very rarely ever taking a shit. Um, because they, they do pee in them and it recycles it into, into drinkable water. Although God knows how many times it does that before the filters need cleaning. Um, apparently in one of the books they do indeed do naked sand baths. Oh, there we go. I, I mean, it will draw away some moisture. But you could, I can see them being, see them making an argument that it's returning some of the water to, you know, Arrakis, maybe? So we got the option of a flamethrower and a really good payout, uh, a normal level of risk. Uh -huh. The Skatari have located the tomb of the sarcophagus, Lord Ecropis, in his tomb. Prime Hermiton Captrix, uh, one of them is. Request a high price mission be sent to destroy him. Plus, they've lived with the smells so they're used to it, and still suits the process feces. So you'll never know if you need your shit again. Unless you're wearing a Freeman suit. Heavy fossil blast, huh? Okay, multiple projectiles. Requires four points. Power field generator. All physical attacks do more damage. Troop deployment cost is reduced by 30%. Interesting. And 106 Blackstone. But it's a hard mission against warriors, immortals, and the Lord himself. Let's let's have a look at other options. So we've still got that one. Still got that one. Protection detail. Okay, that's a, a range. An immortal flayed ones, Canoptic, and Necron warriors. Skatari has become trapped. Cognition gauge goes up. Skitari Vanguard Alpha. Tiny bastard. Um, and some otherwise. Let's have a look at the cohort. Because we should have picked up. There we go. A new Magos. And we've got Skitari Ranger. Single range prod. Deals 2 to 4 energy damage. Vanguard. 4 to 6 damage. Physical. Servitors that we know and love. Uh, the housemate uh, has a paperback downstairs. It is worth the read. The original book and maybe the second one, I think. Uh, the second one written. Were both good books. And then it goes off in a bit of a wander. If you haven't got time for religion. It gets a little bit of day. So Jeremiah is our engine seer. He's our healing type. He's been helping us with, with the getting the healed and not dying in a bush. Um, read June, but I haven't read all the sequels. I own them all. But it's it's worth a read, so long as you can just sit down and read them without reading something else in between. Or at least that's what I found with my ADHD brain. I could follow it so long as I was reading them. If I took more than a week off from reading them, or if I started to read other stuff, um, yeah, I, I had a bit of a cognitive break and just stopped being able to, to pick up details. Okay, so we've got some good stuff going on here. Hmm. Eisenhorn, yes. Eisenhorn is a good set of books. Okay. We could optimize this guy a little bit more. The macro stubber does a healthy amount of damage, but it costs. And that's awkward for this guy. This guy needs to be as free as possible. It's 
standard blast pistol does one to two damage and is free. Perfect. And it it does take up an augment slot. That's okay though. And the moment he's got an axe, he's got an axe. Yep, he's got the axe there, the power axe. That costs a point to attack. But this one doesn't. There's a little bit less damage. But I can live with that. I'll unplug that one. Plug that one in. Plug it in on the other side. Let's balance them out a little bit. There we go. That's good. Is that all his upgrades filled? How much would it take to actually do him some more? Next one. Heals one tiger for three C three HP. Ooh. That is worth it. That is so worth it, I think. It's 180 points. That's half of what we've got left. That is so worth it. That and that's cognitions, maybe? Troop unit gains plus extra damage. Mm. We'll do that for long range healing. Which will give us also an extra augment point, which is useful. Tempted to give him another, another weapon. Again, something that doesn't cost. Actually, hmm. Um, you'll finish these books before you finish Ravenna. Yes. Read all the Eisenhorn stuff so you realise why and, and how Ravenna goes away, and then read all the Ravenna book. And then, once you're done with that, go and read Caiaphas Kane. Because Sandy Mitchell is fucking amazing. And writes a really good human commissar. Um, and once you've done that, uh, have a read of any book you can get by Sarah Corkwell. Um, she's a mate of mine. She's awesome. She writes for Black Library. She's done 40k and she's done fantasy. She's one of, the, one of the few Black Library artists to actually successfully straddle the line. She wrote the Valkyrie novel. Um, but also she's had a lot of free hand with her 40k stuff. Um, because the Silver Skulls are a relatively unknown chapter. But yeah, I'll really give you on that one. Um, reading the books makes you want to play Warhammer 40k RPG. I need to get back to writing um, and playing uh, the 40k Death uh, Death Watch. No, it's not, it wasn't Death Watch. Uh, the 40k um, Inquisitor game that I was running, Dark Heresy. There we go. Uh, Dark Heresy 2.0. I need to go rewrite some some chapters for where the characters are at the moment and who might be available. Um, yes, tempted to run that again. I need to run that again. Um, let's have a look at these. What's we, what can we do here? Mm. Writing a book or writing a campaign? Uh, campaign. I've got the arc in general in my mind. I've just not got all or most of the um, sequence steps written down. Plus I tend to ADHD hyperfocus, which is really annoying. Uh, in fact, I could probably do some of them on stream, but it would mean that some people can't watch it. Be a shame. Until it's next base attack. Ooh. The unit gains plus two damage, plus three movement, and a ten critical chance until it's next base attack. That could be really useful, actually. Oh. What to give this guy then? Do we give him another weapon? Do we give him a support implement? What do we do? Because he's got one space here. Do we give him a, a better weapon? Part of me thinks we should give him another weapon so that he's got something that's a little bit more powerful than the Phosphor Blaster, just in case. So give him back the Macro Stubber so he's got a balanced weapon set. Let's give him that balanced weapon set. There you go. Two guns. Uh, 
Um, members of the Death Watch have left their chapter. True. At the moment, they're all humans in the Inquisitorial group. So we can definitely take a look at it. Tempted to get the sky. The Lex Mechanic upgrade. I don't think we can. Can we not? Oh, 198. No, we can't. Okay. We've got an engine seer. We've got... Magus Monarius, who is our Lex Mechanic Stroke Dominus. That macro stubber didn't do us any favours um, because it constantly needed charging up. That Volkite's nice. Deals 6 to 8 damage. I can utterly demolish a single single critter. Uh, since the Death Watch is technically part of the Inquisition anyway, it does make sense. It does. Absolutely it does. Absolutely it does. It uses Space Marines and NPC to keep things balanced. Yeah. I would do it. Um, the, the, there's an interesting point that players are at at the moment where they're deciding whether basically to go left, right, or straight on at a bit of a crossroads. Um, so part of my writings have been based on them not being entirely sure what they're up to. No, I think we're going to keep him with the Volkite. Secondary with the uh, Phosphax, Phosphor will mean that he can constantly fire and move, which is useful for him. And we've got the Power Axe for now. Yeah. Next might be something like the, uh, the Sanctus Canister or something like that. And they've got this little chap! Charisma. Servitor improvement. All troops in range attack the selected target. Command. Front of canisters do better. Call troops instantly. Tech auxilium. Care thing running smoothly. to have him train up as a secutor stroke Lex Mechanic or otherwise. It's, that's the really useful part of Engine Series, the auto repair and extra point of health. Let's enhance the troops here. And you can have two upgrades. He's enhancing the troops. Let's get him with a Curatio Claw. Then he can use that to heal people up. And if he's going to be up there with the infantry, he's going to need... In fact, he's up there with the infantry. That might be helpful. Uh, a Curatio Claw just to go... Oh, sorry, uh, an Infestus Mechadendrite. Thank you very much for the reminder to hydrate. Good idea. That is the half and half coffee gone. Thank you very much for that. I hope you're hydrating at home. I hope you've got any stacks you need. And onto the onto sneak next. The light mix. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Knocks the target back a tile and deals one point of physical damage. It knocks them out of melee. Gets them away from him. Hmm. What should we go for that? Axes are cool though, but that's free. Let's go for the freebie. Back to the missions. Let's go get that flamer. Let's take... Hmm. I'll take the, the firepower Magos. Magos Dominus Manarius. We'll take the, the new boy. Magos Leonardus. We will change out the attacks on armor for the other health one. Or gain three points. Ooh. 
Three cognition points gives us a lot of options. Oh, good gracious me. That's difficult. If I could keep people from asking questions, it might be a weapon. Um... Narthaceum. A human sized Narthaceum. Lifetime supply of all healing agents. Um, lifetime supply of combat drugs. Lifetime supply of healing apparatus. Um, and the software that goes with it. And, and the, the appropriate integrations. Human form, so I, I, I appreciate, you know, I'd have to work readouts and such. But that would enable me to be a better first responder. There you go. Plus, it's not considered a weapon. I don't know. I'd argue that a, a small chainsaw that can cut through power armor and a, and a power spike that can definitely punch through power armor and, and a hardened black carapace to get to the progenoid glands. I, I reckon they, that qualifies as a weapon. <laughs> I probably may not argue that's successful. Can it do your surgery? Probably, probably not. Um, it is more a case of this thing is either going to kill or cure. You know, there is there is one set of options for this thing. Uh, I, I tend to be a good person. I mean, weapons are awkward. You know, people ask questions about weapons. Let's go for heal 10 points because, you know, if you're going to heal anything, you might as well definitely do it. Um, next physical attack will do 6 points of damage. Yeah, I suppose if you're going to warp something, you have to warp it properly. Um, well, knowledge is that killing is curing. Well, sometimes, yeah. Absolutely. Problematic in the extreme. We do not have enough fuel to stay in orbit. <laughs> I got fuel. Um, it reminds me of the. It is there. Um, is it on the broader internet? Um, solar auxilia. For a while, uh, it was a GW release. Best aid. I'm gonna go quick skim read for it because just in case. Um, where is it? Auxilia. Um, combat aid. No, combat medicine. Of all the random things I have, and probably some are buried on my phone, I cannot find it for the life of me quickly. But yeah, it was effectively like, um, you know, what do we do about um, bolt gun wounds? You don't do anything because they involve mass explosives, so they're invariant and fatal. Okay, what do we do about um, chainsaw wounds? Well, the wounds are ragged, um, and there is so much trauma caused, so there is no point whatsoever in providing any healing. Okay, what do we do about last gun rounds? Oh, last gun shots and auto gun shots. Well, they would tend to cause trauma to the body, so therefore, um, in the vast field of war where there are multiple rounds going around, 
you might just have to win the firefight. Don't apply any kind of medical healing. It'll take too much time. Okay, what do we do about fragmentation level injuries and minor cuts and scratches? Due to the level of pathogens and, and biochemical warfare, any kind of break in the skin is inevitably fatal. Do not apply medical first aid. Like, how the hell are you supposed to help? <laughs> uh, no idea what, what weapon you'd want. I can't imagine you'd have the physical strength to the, use the real fun ones. You'd, you'd have to restrict yourself to, to the, the Imperial Guard and Cellar Auxilia. You've got access to chain weapons. You've got access to power weapons. You may not have access to, like, a chain axe. Or maybe you do. Um, but, ooh, stand to. Speaking of chain axes, someone grab the chain axes. Someone get the boarding gear. We're being raided. We're being raided. Report in, agents. Agents of the Inquisition, I hope, or the Holy Omnis Sire. No, the agents of the other side of the great enemy. Come on in, Agent Smith. It's good to see you. It's good to be seen by you. How did the photo stream go? Have you brought us the toasters you promised us? Hmm. I can pull this. I can, I can pull it forward a little bit. Have you brought us the toasters? You require the toasters for the mechanical expertise and the things that go ding when they are done. Bring them to us. Or we shall say ndi a second time. Well, very well, you finished the album before the stream, so I uploaded it during the editing. Wait, to be honest, oh, auditor vibes. Absolutely. Look, you're not putting me in an order to trap. I can trap myself in here without that kind of assistance, don't you know? <laughs> There's no need to put a sign up so in here saying "Don't feed the elephants," because that won't confuse me. That'll just make that that'll just make the the day very very long. Because they'll be looking for peanuts first. You feed elephants peanuts. You've had words with Steve. Apparently, he has joined the Inquisition now. What? Guardsman Steve. Has now joined the Inquisition? No, oh, no. <laughs> okay, can I get the exoskeleton? Well, if we're keeping close to weapons, probably not. Um, the, the closest weapon that's an exoskeleton for a live human being is probably any kind of penitent engine, or maybe arguably a sentinel. Um, but they're not really an exoskeleton. Well, the, the first one's definitely an exoskeleton. It'll be a bolted in, half naked. Um, and fed combat drugs um, until you're finally shot out of it and then they just wash out the rest of your corpse and put the new person in. Um, so yeah, that'd be a little bit awkward. Um, auditor vibes. You may think of us as auditors. We do improve the Inquisition. We do. It's just Steve. Guardman Steve. Have you come across the meme of Guardman Steve? Guardman Steve is entirely questionable. Let me... Let me, let me I think I've got a battery of images for Guardsman Steve. Let me just... 30 seconds here. We're off on a tangent. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, welcome to the tangential studies of where... Where is it? No, I don't know why. That's the folder we want. That's the folder I want. Ah, yes. The real human Garsman Steve. That's the one. I don't think I've got the first one. Ah, there we go. That'll do. Uh, we'll go to the host variable screen. I think this is the right one. There we go. Yes. A real human Garsman Steve. So, no clothes, free drugs, and your joints stay in place most of the time. Well, mostly because they've severed everything below the... Uh, above, sorry. Below? Yeah, everything below the elbow and below the knee. <laughs> See? Fellow human being, we are being overwhelmed. You should retreat into this dark cave with me. Not now, Steve. We've almost got him. That was the, the, the first moment of worry regarding Garsman, Steve. He may be slightly cowardishal. Cowardishal? Maybe accused of mild cowardice. So, what else we got up from here? Has anyone seen Steve? He's supposed to be bringing explosives from the base. Fear not, fellow human. I have returned with the munitions. Bagooms! Like, ah, damn it, Steve! That grin. It's that damned grin. That one. That one there.
There is no smooth motion in this. It's I keep on getting the hammer, the, 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 the positive, positive magnifying glass. Look at that smile. Everything began with that damn smile. Oh, some of the memes are amazing. Um, I do believe he is in a suit of, of, of Space Marine armor these days. Okay, back out to the one-to-one. -one. There we go. Does anyone not see the filthy Xenos? I'm no Xenos. I'm a fellow human. Don't you see my human skin? Yeah, dude, that's just that's just Steve, mate. That's just Steve. He's got flesh. The, the, the man might have, like, an STD or something. Just, just don't mention, like... The fact that he's not looking too good. It's a little bit personal, isn't it? <laughs> um, you're playing again a tattoo of the Inquisition symbol. Awesome. Awesome. What I will say is be very careful about getting the Aquila anywhere. Because people have a real hard on for spotting it. And get, it gets really confused with like a ton of Nazi imagery. Um, and that's the furthest we're going to go down that route. But just be careful about what you get and double check it. No, Aquila. Good choice. Good choice. Um... Guardsman Steve with the 440k version of the Carl, Carl military memes. A little bit. Also, yeah, slightly sideways. They just probably just take him uh, with Azrael for repenting. That's true. Did you see that move in the Stabber? Shadows. Which Shadows, Steve? Ah, there we go, yes. That, that was the original. This is the original one. This is the original one. Steve? Disregard my previous suspicions, fellow human. Emperors for the Skull Throne, or whatever we believe in. Damn it, Moon Moon. We like our new captain. Captain Steve. He got a promotion. Looks kind of weird, though. <laughs> it's that boggle, isn't it? It's that boggly eyes, like, what are you doing? I have concerns. It's an Ogren with concerns. Everyone should be concerned about the Ogren. How's we got in here? Um, there we go. In, see, he knows the Salamanders, Space Marines. He's obviously a good guy. It's been forever! Yes, it is good to see you too, Astartes, that clearly knows me. Did you lose weight? I can barely see shit in this coffin. It's great dieting. It's all that corpse starch. Corpse starch must naturally be kosher. What am I going to say? Skin condition? That is a level of distrust. Distrust. Ah! Adverts! Damn you. <laughs> yes. A skin condition. Be right back when these four ads cease. I do apologize. I did not know they were going to be showing. Probably show them up on the other screen. Yes, the skin condition. Yep, says Steve. Only condition I'm reading on your skin is poor. Like poor skin? How do you get poor skin? It's not rich. Of course it's not rich. He's a guardsman. He can't afford rich. He gets paid in glory. Mordian Glory, which is also a good YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah, he's missing his flesh. Steve should moisturise more. Well, that is entirely kind of actually appropriate here. It's because Steve got someone a Christmas present. He got, he's got his guardsman buddy a Christmas present. Like, what the hell is this? Why is this box filled with stripped flesh? What? Put the lotion in the basket before it gets the hose again. I got your Christmas present. I'm so tired of all the fighting we do. Well, what was that, Jim? Nothing, Commissar Steve. That's what I thought. See? Promotion. He's a Commissar Captain. And back. They were back with, with Commissar Captain Steve. There is no order whatsoever to this album other than I pulled these off the internet in dis in a staggered formation. Absolutely love it. And guess what Santa Steve bought for you boys? What's a Santa? Star stickers! You just like imagine it's that kind of like cross eyed like star stickers, it's amazing. Because, you know, it, what's the point in giving them medals? You need to put it in a box because they'll start eating them. Might as well give them chocolate coins. That way, when they eat, eat them, you know, at least they got a little bit of nutrition. You know, that, that's about the end of my... <laughs> the end of my current store. My current stash of Steve memes. But yes, for those of you who don't know me... And I'll quickly bounce crack across the other one before I reveal the secrets of, like, my hard drive. 
Um, I have a host in Modern Mercenary. I stream three times a week, two times a week. He's Kato Sakaris. He is so much. He is so much more. He is so much greater. Steve is so much greater than, comp than, than fucking Captain Kato Sakaris. Pain in the butt is Kato Sakaris. Double grind, I think. Ultramarine girly boy. The Tomb of Agrilak is where we're going now. And on Thursday we're going to be in a Mechware, and Friday probably in Darktide, because they're releasing new patches! They're releasing a new patch for Darkside. Medals are just a way to battle, just spray them on. Exactly! Give them a bright, shiny button. Prefer medals made of bone. The enemy's bones. As such, I have no medals. That's fair. People tend to get, take offense if you start taking the bones of the enemy and start shouting around words like war crimes. So we're going to the Tomb of Agrilak in order to get some isotopes for the fuel tanks. We do have a set of bone rune stones. This is good. Futhark, Elder Futhark. Other runes? Is it worth going in? Is it a risk? Yes. Because our mission cannot be fulfilled if we crash to Earth. Ah, uh, with a mathematical justification, when you put it like that. Deployment number six. Ooh, we've got a fair old way to go through. This is an absolute track. Okay, we've got to hit this one, and we've got to hit that one. Ooh one, two, three, four, five is the classic routine. We can't do it in less. But we might hit to there and then figure out if we're going to go get a glyph or two. I'll be honest, I've never done a decent reading with them. Um, just I've never done a decent reading with Tarot. But then again, I don't have that much of a tuning. Although I do have a couple of totemic pieces from people. A sudden radiation spike has turned this part of Agrilux's tomb into a dangerous hot zone. Oh no! Radiation? We'll cut up a little bit more, we'll be fine. What should we do? It's sacrilege to leave the Skitari here uncovered. The area may be too dangerous to do anything about it. Should we? Cremate the dead. Burn the bodies, at least that way they won't rot. Plus we will reserve the materials. Bring back the dead. Attempt to recover the bodies. Or commemorate them. Pray for them and leave them where they are. Um, we shouldn't really leave them here. But I'm swinging between bring them back, because that's going to take bloody time, or just cremate them. Um, I think I think we're going to cremate the bodies. Um, I do indeed have your runes. I do. Um, I have, I'll admit, I haven't cast them because they are spicy. Let's go for the toasty option. Toasty, toasty. Cohort throws Promethium over the bodies and sets them ablaze from a distance with gunfire. Hang on, I can't pick a minute. That's a load of rubbish. Set them alight with gunfire. I suppose the thing again, we've got a couple of arc projectors and phosphex launchers. Be fine. But we did not expect the pockets of explosive gas. No, we didn't, because the whole place was filled with radiation. But apparently the enemy are, alert are alerted, so the enemy are a little bit more prepared for us. Bollocks. Okay, next room. The enemy knows that we are here! Quartermaster Row, ingenuity and observation above haste. Apply intelligence, solve the problem. Okay. Erratic and illogical radiation readings are throwing off our ability to track our target isotopes. They ate Taco Bell before they died. Apparently the Necrons in this area absorbed Taco Bell during the fast food wars. Oh, the late 90s. Have you got that reference? You're old enough to use the three shells for yourself. Spirituality! Should we pray for the Omnissiah to intercede? Uh, maybe. Science! Attempt to fix the rad, radi rad sensors. Uh, that, that sounds a little bit better. Speed! Just go! No, let, let's, let's solve the problem. Let's, let's be useful tech priests. Oh, shit. Awesome. Blackstone. Um, we apply tech law to the rat sensors and determine the sensors are not the problem. 
a local source of radiation, and we discover a cache. Not the low of the load, but something useful. Now all restaurants are Taco Bell. But, but, and here's the thing. UK versus US, before you go, the UK didn't have Taco Bell restaurants. They all got changed to Pizza Hut. So all the imagery was changed to Pizza Hut, but they never changed the lyrics. Go well, enjoy, take care, and, and have dinner. Ciao for now. GG. Um, let's go. Let's find out what we're doing here. What are we doing on the next bit? That's because they're the same owner. Yes. But we didn't have Taco Bell here at the time. Although now I've got a Taco Bell down the road from me. That's about, it's about 15 to 20 minutes down the road. But, let's see. Let, let's, let's go for the needed rooms. Then go for the extras. Second dinner. I want a milkshake. I can't afford a milkshake. I'm not going to pay today. Hopefully I get paid tomorrow. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Petrophon battle servitor armor. Not thick enough. Castellan's proving equally ineffective. Must find weakness before we're connection lost. Oh, fucky dudes. Here's the Xenos form triggered a fragmented memory recording from Resec. It looks Necron and I hate it. Well done, because in Mechanicus we are investigating a tomb world. Um... And we've got to go kick the ass of this whole, this whole little lot. The ass. Uh, on, on Thursday night, it's almost 5 p.m. Well, go and eat, my friend. Go and eat. It was odd. Europe got uh, Pizza Huts, except the UK got Taco Bell two decades early. Because I like a Pizza Hut. It's been a fucking age. Excuse my language. Um, since I've been to Pizza Hut, I think there's one local to me. I might have to go there for like a, an afternoon. And just, you know, solo diner. I have no issue with being a solo diner. Yeah. There's only one place to get cognitive points. It's there. That's awkward. Okay. Let's 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 try something interesting. Let's try something slightly spicy. We're gonna put both Magoses over here. In fact, we're gonna put the lightly armored Magos on the other side of the other one. It's not about. There's the canopic shits. Let's use a servo skull and find out what it does exactly. And hopefully cause it a little bit of damage. Oh! Okay. So that one, particularly... No, don't move. That one particularly has five points of health, but two physical shields. That's okay. Because the Phosphix Blaster cannot reach it at all whatsoever. But we're going to run over here. And hop on this. And see if we can pick up like points from this or if we have to use our, our servo skull. The worst case scenario is going to run us around here. We maybe get a scan on that. Um, we're going to end that one's turn. Curatio Claw. Um, the fastest Mechadan joint or servo skull. Let's grab a quick cognition point and get running. Go on. On the platform. On with everyone else. Wait for it to move. End your turn. There we go. Let's upset everyone by constantly moving around the map. Okay, we can start to summon in some fire support here. Um, let's get a servitor down as a meat shield. And also a Skitari Ranger. Every time these guys do damage... Oh, no, connection points. Okay. Well, we'll just drop down the, the, the servitor for now. He's coming forward. Ooh, acid. That's a problem. We picked up a cognitive point. Good. 
Um, we can't shoot him. He's just in the wrong place. Let's go nip over here. What? That is rude. It'd take me a point to get over there. Fine. Um, we'll move here. And we're going to shoot this guy, even though we don't know how much harm it's going to cause him. Well, we've learned something new today. He's got six more points of health. End your turn. He's going to take a pop shot back. Scarabs are moving up. He's still there. You know what's going to happen? He's going to get a thump. And do no damage. <laughs> uh oh. Well, he's dead next turn. Uh, you can't do anything helpful either, can you, buddy? Um, let's stick you with him for now. You boys are a little bit more powerful when you're together. End the turn. Ow, that stings. They spray the bullshit. That's a problem. They should have stuck on the platform. Okay. Um, let's get this Qatari Ranger down. Can we get one down, please? Where's the best place for him for firepower? Um, it's got to be there. Mixed range. It cost us the two points to get him in. He's in now. So to dies. The other guy moves up. Um, you're in melee, so you've got to win your melee. But, let's try this first. Delay the round. Uh, that was a bad idea. I should have brought the other guy. Not the newbie. Oh, that's bullshit. Um, Infestus Becadendrite. Go away. Damage absorbed. That's fine. Um, we'll gain three cognition points. Because that's going to be really useful in the next turn. We'll get a servo skull out for that one. Let's get their stats. Six, and he's got an energy shield. Okay. Can we do any repairs to that one? No, can't do repairs to that one. But we can move up to here. And then do the repairs. Two points. Between two and four. And consistently, it's bloody two. Fine, we're done. Skatari Ranger. Yep, we'll step you around slightly. Two to four damage. We'll pick that one on account of the fact that we can ignore the armor. It's energy over physical. Take a blast. Well done. Reveal enemy statistics. Oh, and now he's coming to close combat. That's not what I wanted. Shit. We are going to lose this one. And this horrible, horrible feeling. We learned some details and we sprinkle them lightly with acid. We're going to pop the uh, health canticle on him now. And we're going to mug that one. I don't think I can move. No. We're going to mug that one. Four points of damage. Not bad. Moderately more harm than the previous one. That acid is going to bleed me. Extra necrons in battle. We're going to get at least one more extra round on top of these. Here we go. Let's 
of the Servitor into combat. Oh, that's rude. But have it back. Shit. Um, <laughs> that did not go according to plan. Um, oh, three to five damage and destroy one energy, and one physical armor. Oh, let's take him out. Good. I can't do anything else with this guy. Piss. He's going to get shot in the face and die. I knew it. He's got no, no attack back. He's going to bleed to death slowly. Wank. Uh, but the Magos can scan the thing. Scan the thing, Magos. Take care. Grab a bite to eat. Good joining you. Thank you for bringing your community in today. We've gained uh, Blackstone. That's less helpful than I thought it was going to be. Let's abandon that guy where he is. Move around here. And knock that one back a piece. free attack and we'll move another step away. Ends that turn. Um, Skitari is stuffed. There's an attack opportunity going to go off no matter where I run. Two or three if I'm not careful. But what I can do potentially is run myself over here. But at least then I can open fire. And with two to four damage, I can maybe take that one out, which is the more dangerous. Good. That solved that problem. Um, end of turn. Is he provide a threat over in this corner? Got plans. <laughs> Through pain, I find wisdom. Rather not be shot in the face. Oh, fuck. There goes me right. Okay. We're going to fall back to that point. We're going uh, yeah, to see what we can do. We can summon one more Skitari Ranger. Bring you in. It's going to help cover our escape. Maybe. There we go. There's our plus one. Scuttle over here on our robot legs. Do him some harm. Well, that one. That one. With a little bit of luck. It dies. It dies. When I got two Necron Warriors to deal with now, we will grab a Cognition Point. Because that's going to help us power up our more powerful weapons. Can't do anything with that right now, so we're going to hold off and end the turn. Suffer through the acid damage. Ow. Go there and intercept the damage. But on the way through, do some harm. Two points of damage. Consistently does fuck all. Otherwise you're done. Unless there is a... No, that's physical damage. Only three more enemies remain. Fuck. Get over here. Heal this boy up. Sorry, Skitari. Um, we will then also grab another cognition point. And end the turn. Sheen Spirit is charged. Okay, we can hit anything in this area. That's good. Four to six damage. Come on. Put him down. Not quite. Uh, move yourself around here. Turn. That acid damage, man. Our engine seeker, get rid of that. He's gone. They consistently do three. My guys consistently do two, and that sucks. Here we go. 
Get the hover pad. Go away. Be a little bit more manoeuvrable. Can't shoot anyone. Everyone else is in the way. End of turn. He's going to take a face full of gorse. Two damage. Can maybe get one, one full round of combat out of this guy. Hopefully that'll end him. Puts him on his regen. Move out. Um, this guy's got nothing useful to do, so he's going to hop on there as well. And then he's done. Someone's going to get shot in the face. What do you know? It's the new guy. Ow. And yeah, you guys think it dropped off the platform the other end. And over here and heal a little bit. Anywhere to get cognition points over here? No. They are purely in the middle of there. Jesus. No one who can take a shot on him. He'll come back. That's okay, we got a couple of turns of holding up. Just siphon off these, these cognitive points. We'll be alright. Can we get some max what's the maximum range we can get out of this? Maybe. Maybe if the Omnisire is with us, it'll be in range. He's out of range. That is stupid! That is just stupid. God damn it. He's literally one cell out of range. That's annoying as hell. Okay, you can step out here and... We can drop a heal point. We can send a... a snag the, cons the, the knowledge. Got no healing. Um, but what you can do is you can heal yourself. Heal the firepower. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Firepower is kind of okay. Enter. Everyone now has to come walking all the way over to us. <sighs> Anybody in range yet? Oh, that guy is. Oh, that's an excessive amount of firepower. Let's delay the turn. Run him to there and he goes in range. Yep. Far enough only to do harm. And we got the cognition point as well. Love it. And now move as far backwards as you can. Hopefully you'll be out of range. And the turn. There we go. Lex mechanic. No, it's not Lex mechanic, is he? Sorry, he's he's a, he's a firepower guy, and he's got no firepower skills right now. Um, walk over here and wait. So we do have that ace in the hole. We've got that. The next physical attack does ridiculous damage. Let's deal with that guy. Come on. It did some damage. We don't know how much. Go to move up to here. No? Here you're in range, perfect. Ah, you're going for the, the, the Uber Eats cheeky dinner, have you? Oh, a little bit of luck, a little bit of luck. Hey, obliterated. Only one more remains. But he can get up a little bit quicker. This calls out for an all out assault. Time to go get them, boys. One, let's get the da let's get the download on this guy and cause him a harm. There we go. 
Not skinny on him. Start close again. Just eat. Being moderately healthy in order to cold balls of fruit. That is a good choice. It's a very good choice. Well done. Need one more cognition point. You're in range. I don't see the point in, in shifting you then. One to three damage. There's two. Probably kind of one point absorbed. It's fine. Just move you out of the way though. Chocolate with fruit. A uh, fruit with chocolate drizzled on it. Mostly fruit. Still, it's a good option, bud. Ooh, we need that cognition point. There we go. Why do we need that? Because the Volkite Blaster will obliterate that poor twat. And one fell fucking swoop. Yes, is. There we go, there's, there's our Magos. There goes the thing whittling around the platform. Our Magos with 7 HP. Here he is with his harness, his phosphex, his eight scuttly legs. He's not, not, not got two legs anymore, he's got eight scuttly legs. Let's get the Volkite Blaster up and going. That's the one on his on his left shoulder. Aim at the enemy. Holy wrath of the on the side. And he's down. No threat remained. Okay. The trail leads through half collapsed series of chambers, crumbling under the weight of the weight of the landscape ahead. It may be perilous to pursue, but could bring the cohort to the objective more quickly. We go cautiously. Take the other way around. If failure, uh, the mission will fail if the cohort is lost. Calculation. Survey the chamber before taking the risk. Should mitigate some of it. Courage. Take the dangerous trail. I, th I think we're going to be sensible here. We're going to be sensible. Ooh. And we've got a slightly upgraded Mechadendrite. Uh, we size up the stability of the chambers. Field engineer experience tells us which part to avoid. We're not very fast. But we do turn up what we need. Awesome. We are severely fucking battered though, because that wasn't the key room. Shit. Um, okay, let's let's move forward. I forgot. Because we've had so many single single big room fights. Um, a series of metallic archways of a tarnished brutalist nature. Um, line the, the passage ahead. It have some function, but we don't know what they do. Uh dismantle the archway. Mm. Loath to give them more options because life is getting incredibly difficult. See if it can be deactivated or just walk through it. Mm, I think we're going to be a little bit curious. Gain some CP. There are energy projectors which we can overload and bypass. Perfect. And we're in a good standing point for the next big room fight. Which is not anything particularly wonderful. The enemy has extra Necrons in battle. Just what we wanted. Scan or destroy. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. One, two, three. Three things we've got on novel. Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. We're going to bring our ranger in straight away. Oh god, this is going to be hard to win. Um, you guys stand basically right behind him. And let's, let's go. 
Magos with a big gun, straight in. I can just probably destroy that one, definitely. Um, no range on that one. Won't cause severe. Nope, got no way to cause severe harm to to many. Let's get the service gun out. This is Boggle. Okay, we could take him down. We wouldn't be able to kill him in the first round. Let's destroy that. Done. Ooh! That knocks him back a step. Oh, that's really bloody useful. Oh, you wank muffin. Okay. Half a chance to cause some harm. One point of damage. Okay. That's you done. Oh, we have no cognition left. Oh, he's going down. Hopefully he can get a, a, a shot off at least. He's in regen. Okay, that's good. This is going to be... What?! That's new. That's that's a problem. That is a whole problem. Um yeah, that's a that's a whole problem. If they can gain CP, what the shit? take many hits buddy but you do get a free knockdown or free knock back so move up there and cause him some harm what in the I dislike these guys I dislike them a lot run over here and hit that that as well. That guy's dead. I want to remain positive. I do not believe this is winnable. Not from where we're at. But we'll try. That's the freebie shot. That's three points. Move. Here. Yeah. We're going to cost one to gain two. And his turn. Pop runs. It's Guitari. We stop him coming back. And then run like Flynn. Come on. What are they doing with this cognition, though? Oh, unconscious mind. He dies. Yep. What are they doing with this cognition? It's a problem. Do I get canticles back? I'm going to need the counters in a minute. Oof. He doesn't. Oh, good God. Come on. One point of damage. Can't get it to piss. Um, I 
Don't worry about yourself. Time to get really fucking sneaky. Achieve part of our objective. Two thirds of the targets are down. We're going to get one Volkite shot on that. And I can take it out. I just have to survive long enough to get to around here somewhere. Nope. Anything else is done. Come on. Damn it. Oh, I can get to him. I can get to it. I can destroy it. He won't survive. But it will be destroyed. Here's a hope. He's dead. He's at the center of crossfire. He's not making it out. Most he can do is cause harm. Well, shit. Oh, we got a canticle. Oh, we got two canticles. Three canticles. Tiny. Four. And some armor breakers. Okay. Magos are still alive. Okay. Just things a little bit. <laughs> ah. 
That's the more useful one for this guy, because he constantly is a heavy source of firepower. God, I hate, I hate failing missions. Goals me. What has he got at the moment? He's got shoulders, and he's got legs. We upgrade him again. What do you get, Indominus? Machine spirit damage to deals plus two. Okay. So we've got arms, two HP, and a dodge chance. Or we've got extra extra armor, and his face gets weird. I say we go for facial weirdness. Because they're going a little bit further away from human. There we go. Tentacle face, multiple oculus. Life's gonna get weird. <sighs> Worth taking something off him to give him the curatio claw. You have to either lose the Phosphor Blaster, or the Axe. This guy's my tough guy, I'm just inclined to take away the Axe. But it does leave us with no kind of freebie weapon. Ooh, don't lie. Unplug the Axe. Do have a freebie weapon there. Freebie melee weapon. Those tentacles. Take away the phosphor blaster. And give him the claw. That means he can at least heal himself as we go forward. Still got a bit of a melee, still got... Yeah, I think that's a slightly better balance for now. He's doing better with his with his armor saves as well. Okay. But we have learnt now that we do not go out without our, our friendly healer as well. So, take a look at other options. An easy mission. That one was apparently normal, but it was actually quite hard. Topological Survey Skitari team. Let's go out and get the Oculus Topographis. Save them. Increase the cognition gauge, gives us more Skitari and some Blackstone. It's easy, but there is a huge range of enemies, including those annoying Canoptic buggers, and the new one, which is the Immortals. We will take the Monarius, the heavy firepower. Jeremiah, with the, fire su with the healing support. Four more here. Really want to unlock these options. Might have a hell of a lot easier. Try that as a spread. 10 HP on the current target, 3 cognition points, physical damage. Physical damage came in really useful once. The next 4 attacks ignore all armor. That improves the average damage done. There's never enough healing. 5 and a 10 and gaining, on, uh, gaining cognition points. Stick with that. Let's go. Got problems. Interesting that they've gone for the one that is more emotionally engaged as being female chassis.
damage. The architectural dead. Eh, okay. Architectural cut off. It happens. We did encounter the random roll about the uh, comms cable. Have to move with speed and a hell of a lot of firepower. We advance immediately. Wow, that's a big tomb. Okay. Fastest route is one, two, three, four, in on fifth. I think this is a nice smooth core through glyphs. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let, let's try and avoid um, extraneous work elsewhere. Chamber head is covered in dust and debris, which clearly shows the tracks of the Ocularis Topographis. It obviously went this way. Okay, avoid the trail entirely in case the enemy's used it as an ambush. Follow it, but be careful. Um, because the enemy expects Macarius troops, Mechanicus troops, or haste. Let's let's be cautious. Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Um, in doing so, we gave a flanking Necron unit time to catch up. Of course, streak, st far streaks from the shadows, peppering the cohort until we can fall back. Bollocks. Okay. A little bit of harm on our Skitari. Can work with that. Corpse of one of the guards, evidently cut down, providing a rear guard. Pray for their soul, scavenge the gear, or cleanse. I'd say scavenge. We're here to, to preserve the secrets of the Omnissiah, as much as anything else. They gain the jump on us. But we do get to reveal all statistics in an area for free as an upgrade. That's useful. Okay, glyph rooms, folks. We've got glyph rooms coming up. This is one we had earlier, but we didn't choose. I've got no idea what this one does. Bit of a double feed. Thoughts and opinions from the audience, left or right? Left or right? left. Can't do. I mean, the symbol it was opposing previously gave us Blackstone. So, this could be the good one. Apparently, it's not the good one. Move on. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Ooh, I think this is the good one. I think this is the known one. Um. Oh, wank. Apparently it wasn't. Fuck. <sighs> That's my bad choice. Extra Necrons in battle. Well... Fooey. Let's go and get us. Tesla Tech, yes. Mm -hmm. Only shows the inferior steps in technological advancement. destroy okay okay we've only got one to get though I think we're gonna bull rush this but it's a really bad idea <laughs> I want to bull rush this but it's a really bad idea I think we need to hang back gain a little bit of firepower possibly fuck about on this platform a couple of times and just try and put some range down a bit of range to make love in so, let us get everyone back here. Because we can't summon anyone in. 
Got no cognition. Okay. Stats on new boy. 11 HP and 2 armor. And, uh, no. Let's, let's go over here and be scuttly bastards. End the toes. Um, run over here. And gain some cognition. Um, anyone in range? Anyone? Anyone at all? No. Thought not. Uh, but that's the the ranged healing prayer, and the cleansing of any targeted negative effects, such as the acid. No, end of turn. Oh, a bunch of scarabs arrive because, of course, they nothing to do. Do I want to summon anyone in? Won't serve me to do it just yet. Other than to act as a meat shield. So we'll do it. Just so they can act as a meat shield. Um, we can scuttle over there and hit the achievement bubble. And get back in time. I'm not feeling it. We're not in range of anyone to shoot or delay the turn. Meat shield died, but it gave us a cognition point. <laughs> um, and we're back to him again. Oh, bollocks. Uh, no, we're not. We're back to the other guy. Okay. Anyone in range? Prospects? No? Number one? No? Okay. No one to heal up. No one to smack about. No one to heal up. No cleansing things needed. Canticles not accessible just yet. Delay the turn. Ow, that's interesting. Yeah, we're going to hang about back on the other place. Um, Hulk Eye Blaster needs three. We've got two. We can help ourselves, so we will. We'll make ourselves feel a little bit better. And we'll, we'll end the turn. Alien range. Okay, if you move to that block, that's alright then. Um, two to four physical. One to two otherwise. Stretch. Good point, Valkyrie. Well presented. A little bit stiff, getting a little bit uh, shrink like in the corner. Shrinky shrink. Pop last time. Oh, look at my boy's face. Absolutely amazing. One to two physical damage, two to four otherwise. Let's. let's. Hmm. No charm this one causes him. No, we can give him with the boss facts. And the macro. Ooh. Good to know. And our turn. Hopefully go back the other way. There we go. That's where we wanted. Step off now. New round. Gain some cognition. Step off the platform. Drizzle lightly on, on the scarabs. Little scuttly bastards will be over here in a minute anyway, so mind your turn. We can step off. We'll get some stats on the scuttly one. Four points. 
Um, machine Spirit is charged, but everyone is out of range. There's no one, nothing to heal up. And I'll turn there. And of course, he gets a point of repair. Bollocks! Oh, he's, he's, he's anticipating them. Oh, fuck no, he's gonna come round the corner. Oh, he can only move three squares or so. He can't get there unless he gets powered up. Where well, we can get the Skitari Vanguard in. Get him. We can't get a Skitari Vanguard in, so we'll get a Servitor in just in case. Meet shield! Attend me! Uh, can't do anything with the Volkai. Can't do any of the other ones. Canticles. Relatively useless right now. Ooh, no. Firepower, please. We'll hold off on that. Oh, it's a tummy! To the lesser spotted missed tummy. <laughs> Someone clip that because that is so cute. Including that little face you made. It's such a cute little tummy. Ah, right. Everyone is in range apart from the thing I'm looking at. Okay. Here's a fluffy tummy. Let it down. He's going to walk around there as well. Okay. They, they know what I'm planning. They're on to me. Maybe in range? Uh, no, slightly in range. Um, half my movement to get there. You're now in range? No, you're not in range. Right, if I move one more forward. Okay. Three points of damage. Put him down for a little bit. Thank you! And then we run away. <laughs> Tactical withdrawal. The fluffiest of tummies. And uh, we'll end our turn. <gasps> How many more sets of Canoptic Scarabs are they going to summon up? New round. Okay. Time to run up to punching range. If you survive long enough, you can punch it to death. Mm. He's resistant to... I don't know about this guy. We in fast ones. Should say he was resistant. I can't remember what he was resistant to. Ah, physical damage. Okay. Do him some sincere harm then. Six to eight. Let's run it. Run the numbers. Six damage. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, the ride is here. We will be extracting presently. One point of cognition. Pick up the cognition and take that one out. At the same time. Lovely. And then step on the platform. Got ourselves ambushed at the other end. We'll work with what we've got. And it's out. No need to reveal any of those stats. We will just take the cognition points. And we will step on the platform. 
like the good little robots we are. End our turn. Because there's nothing else useful we can do right now. You can run forward though. And cause someone a mischief. Then get shot in the face a hell of a lot. Oh, we got some cognition out of it. It's mostly flat. Do we want some reinforcements? Ooh, we get this Katari Vanguard and start putting some proper rounds down range. Yep, that'll work. Magos himself. Ooh, we could potentially put that warrior down. That immortal down. Clipped. Thank you. Thank you, Fluffy. Six to eight points of damage. Seven. That was a good seven. A good seven. We're going to go over there and snag the info. I hope. And that one's turn. We're going to take a hit. Through pain, I find wisdom. Short run. Hit him with the Phosphex. Take him out. That was their main damage dealer. Obviously, everything else is going to cause us a problem. But that was the, the first major problem. Was the damage that thing could maybe put out. I think... Yep, your turn's done. Everyone's going to start closing in on us now. Go there and start opening fire on everyone. There we go, there's the radium rifle doing its job. Can't get a second shot off? Okay. We've basically got to start, survive two rounds over on this side until that one comes back. I'm gonna mm, do a hole off the servitor and get tight over here. Let's get in there. Spend the point, bring him in, and wait out. Regain the point. Let's get the scan in. Yes. No. Son of a bitch. Why? Why two enemies? Oh, fuck this. Oh. Okay, you can go down. Destruction is the destiny of the Xenos. It really is. I'll get back around the corner. Make life difficult for him. Another fucking mortal. Okay, this guy can heal up one point. Phosphor should do this one. Yes. Good. Everything is out of range. Um, so we're going to grab... Cognition? Yep, that allows us to fire the Volkite again in a minute. Otherwise we're going to step to here, which obscures ourselves slightly. I say slightly because this guy can now shoot us in the face. They mostly do energy damage, so we want energy armor to stop the ranged firepower. Radium. Four to six. 
That should take him down to the floor. Love it. Machine Spirit is charged and ready to go. Alpha wasn't rolled around yet. We're waiting for everything else to come in. Out there now and punch. We got any upgrades? No, nope, just health. Okay, punch them to death. That's not gonna be enough. Nope. Took them down a chunk though. Here we are. Here's our extraction across to this side to cause a little bit more of a problem for the enemy. Oh, punch him again. So you take him out. Well done. That was a mistake. Um, what you can do is you can put yourself in the way there and cause an opportunity attack later. In your turn. Um, I want to save up this firepower for that immortal. But I can't get to where I want to be, so we're going to delay that turn. Immortal going to put himself in gun range. No. Ow. We've got some people. One step forward. Use the free gun. Hopefully cause him sufficient harm. Yep. Then run to the back of the platform. Uh, yeah, that's good for him. By the will of the machine god, I am made whole. Cognition there, that's good. Can we shoot you? Here we can. Or oh, we can shoot the other platform. Ooh. It would definitely kill them, or we could take out the platform, which we know has an effect, but I don't think it's going to take us back far enough. I think we're going to prosecute the attack. Get rid of that particular one. Forces forward, and that's okay. I'll run to the back of the platform. End the turn. Opportunity attack. Thump. And then dies. No? Okay. Um, is there anywhere I can move? Okay, then move again. Oh, I can move to there. Fire off a blast. And then move out. Don't know how much harm it's going to cause. Let's hope it's a high enough. It's an unknown value, because of course it is. And we're going to cost the other point. Get us back onto the platform. Run away! Tactical withdrawal. That's what that is. Tactical. Ekin thump. Well done. Make yourself a nuisance. Come on. I'm gonna die in in the next turn. There we go. Off he goes. Pops his clogs. Yeah, we step off the platform because I mean, we we put ourselves towards the back because the Volkite won't fire. We can, however, assess exactly how much damage we've done. Did less because of the energy shield. That's okay. End up, Sam. No, 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 no. Ow! Rude. Grab some cognition. And move ourselves up slightly. Reach five points of physical damage. Let's roll for a high number. We got three. Uh, two, three. Might put it down, might not. No, it didn't. But that's okay.
We're gonna say a little prayer for you. And get him healed up a little bit more. And that's your turn done, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, it is. End of turn. Auto repair. You'd step off the platform anyway. Put him down. With a critical! Off the side! Love it! Absolutely love it. That's him. in toasted. Right, we just got this boy left. Let's go. This is where we just rush in because we might as well. He says, hoping against hope that no one just randomly spawns in. Come on. Run it in. Dominus, scuttle forward. Um, help yourself, yeah. Heal up a little bit, just in case. Save us some pit CP at the end of the turn. At the end of the game. Say a little prayer for yourself. End your turn. We've got the other one now. Can run up. Is he in range of the guns? No, he isn't. Can't do anything else. Can't cleanse any effects. And the other two are healing options anyway. Skitari moving up. Radium Carbine out of range, but will be in range next turn. Yes, he is going to be in range. Extra Necrons in battle. That sounds like I have to kill this guy this round. That's what that sounds like. Three point of cognition. Ooh, let's get his stats and do him some harm. Ooh, resistant to energy. That could be problematic. Okay. Resistant to energy. Not resistance to getting punched in the face with a mechadendrite, though, is he? And then follow that up so he's locked in close combat so he can't shoot his weapon without taking a step away. Run forwards! Hopefully you'll be in gun range. But I don't know. So let's get some uh, cognition going on anyway. Are you in range? No, you're not. Because of course you're not. Are you in range of that one? No, you're not. Um, and I'm not spending that cognition just to put... Just to put you in range. Not going to happen. Let's end that turn. Skitari. Oop. You're there, you're okay. Do your job, Skitari. Put rounds down range. Love it. No threat remaining. Mission complete. We located the lost Skitari unit, enabling them to move the Oculus Topographis back out of the tomb and towards the Skitari lines. The troops and the valuable surveying device they escort are saved from perishing in the tomb. Perishing. Perishing. Why well, don't I do ASMR? Because it's stumbled over my words. The squad survivors are back at our lines and the Oculus has been salvaged. We've been set back in our exploration of the tomb, but not nearly so far if we had lost it. <laughs> Yeah, we've got data. The thing's fracking large. This shall be factored in. Keep me appraised. This thing is huge. That's what she said. Um. <laughs> oh dear, come on. Ooh. Healthy amount of returns there. Gauge goes up. We've got a new Sekitari. We've got more Blackstone. Tomb is a little bit more awake. Running out of options, folks. The Ubjao sector has been located. Where other tombs are sterile, this one is grossly fecund. With the union of life and death. The first scouting maniples to enter are overwhelmed by the appalling stench. 
They walk straight into a charnel house. Biological remains plaster every wall and floor. Some are creatures indigenous to Silver Tenebris, but others are unmistakably human. Presumably, the former colonists of St. Eckhart's Hope. Their decay begins instantly as the sealed atmosphere of the tomb is breached. Metallic skittering heralds something even worse waiting in the tomb. In this pit of disease and death, even the mind of a tech priest is vulnerable before its horror. So. We found a slightly better version of the Infestus Mechadendrite. That's useful. We've not got any other new weapons. Three versions of each piece of this equipment. We These are two we had previously. The Noise Reductor. Apparently sends out waves of undetectable audio that bounce back, so ultrasound. Revealing all enemy statistics in an area. Okay. Here's our troops. So Vanguard level 1. Uh, Vanguard level 2. Alpha, sorry, level 1. Servitors. Ship upgrades. Ah. Disengage. One on one. And an additional tech priest. What's this one now? These are the canticles. Prayers that can be used. Yeah. Litany of Life, the third level, complete ten missions. So that we're a little way off that just. Canto the Craft, complete three missions without using a canticle. Okay then. That's a challenge. Use 10 canticles. Oh, for fuck's sake. So next week, we're going to use one, and then we're going to use none. Kill a boss. Kill three bosses, kill five. Scan many ne uh, necrons. Lots of physical attacks. Suffer lots of energy in physical attacks. Move a lot. Move even more. more even more. Move even more. I'm coming out of LOLO. Axe of Spirit. Oh, all weapons, which we've already got. And whatever that one is. Hmm. Let's have a look at this alpha. Ah. Taser Goad deals area damage. Um, it's a cone attack. Interesting. So, shall we upgrade Magos Jeremiah? Magos Manarius, or shall we bring up Leonardus up to level up to scratch? What do you think, folks? Upgrade the new guy, or upgrade the medic? Designated medic. At the moment, Leonardus has the basic stuff. Um, he's got the proto uh, Servitor Protocol. This is the one that improves troops. Upgrade the new guy. Yeah, we can do this. At the moment, he's only got a physical strike, which I think we definitely need to improve on. I think we keep on in this vein for a little while, because they improve troops. So, a couple of options in here. Okay, Robot Hand. More HP and one augment. Four HP, uh, so the, the the cowling, the mantle. Four HP and one augment. Three HP and moves faster. Or stompy legs. And a better face gives energy armor. Two HP plus energy armor, or four HP overall. I'm tempted to take the head armor, because most damage that comes in that's being shot by Necrons is energy damage. So two shots of, say, three damage each would actually only equate to four points of harm, versus this it would equate to six points of harm. 
so this wouldn't help at all. And in fact, it would be breached by... Well, this would be breached by two, and this would be breached by two as well. Okay. Mm. I don't know, then. Yeah. I think the head augment's going to be the better option. But my example was not a particularly wonderful way of, of displaying that. Okay. Oh. He's got the claw. Hmm. Let's swap out the Vestus Mechadendrite. Give him a freebie weapon. Cost anything for him to have a blaster. I think it'd be really useful. Ooh, actually, let's put his head on. That's it, actually. So, we could take off the, the healing claw. So, we'll make sure that he can he can take care of himself a little bit, at, at the very least. We'll take off the healing claw. Um, and give him the ability to reveal for a radius around him. I don't know what that radius is, though. Uh, could we do an upgrade for him again? We could do. Get to level three. That's not bad, actually. Let's get him. Let's get him up to speed. All troops in range attack selected target. And that solves the next problem I had, which was, mm, how do we help this guy do stuff? Um, because it's useful to, for them to have some kind of melee weapon. Three to five. There's an opportunity attack. Oh, they don't trigger opportunity attacks. Oh, hi. Okay. <sighs> New games plus two damage. Fall downs. I think. That costs two, does it? Okay. Um, in fact, what do you think? think? I'm thinking Power Axe as an upgrade for him. So that way he can do some physical harm. He can do for cognitive points, as we know. He can do some ranged harm for free. And he can still do some healing. If he needs to do it for himself or if he needs to do it for somebody else. Keep them going just a little bit longer. Surround this guy with Skitari uh, shooters. Just have him on the, on the back line ready just to go and end that person and end that person and end that person. Hopefully that will work. I think that's okay. It's a fair spread. But with that decision, it is 11 o'clock at night. It is 1 past 11, technically. So we're going to save this. A new save. It's Twitch. E2. We save there. Saving in progress. Save complete. Perfect. We're going to take a quick look for someone to raid. And see if we can spread the love. What's going on tonight. Because I do thank you all for being here. I do thank you for your time. I thank you for coming on in, keeping me company. A thank you to the Raiders from Agent B. Smith's stream. Hopefully you've all enjoyed your time. Um, this is a, a quick call to action for you folks. If you have stayed around, um, please do hit that follow button. I do appreciate it. I am trying to push 255 people before the 22nd of November. If you've liked what you've seen, and if you want to see me again, you'll see me on Thursday and on Friday this week. 
Thursday will be on MechWarrior 5, and Friday will be Dark Tide with the new patch. In the meantime, let us see who is out and about on the internet. Who is streaming? It's like Twitch a minute to figure its life out. What's going on here? Let's see. I can't see any other ones there. In fact, there we go. Herald. Herald of Chaos. Raid has been created. There we go. We're going to raid into Herald of Chaos. He's a good bean. He's a good lad. I do like him a lot. Take care of yourselves, folks. Give him a follow if you haven't already. I'll see you on Thursday. Stay safe. Where's that button gone? There it is. Oh,